Hello everyone. I thought I'd show you the progress I've made in my voxel engine. Pardon the seams. I haven't figured out exactly what's causing those yet, but I will and I'll fix them. Um, so you can see I've created this sort of uh, gateway and uh, you might see these if you ever look at brochures about Japan. They're just a simple wooden gateway, but this doesn't look like wood. Well, that's okay. We can make it look like wood. Uh, pardon the noise in the background. It's Friday and people are apparently quite excited about that fact. Um, so we've just changed the color to a more woody color and now we've now changed the texture to a woody texture. But you can see that some of these aren't going in the same grain as the rest. So let's go ahead and change all of them to this grain and then change the ones that we want to be vertical back to vertical. There we go. And now we have a wooden pillar. But uh, this wooden pillar, obviously this is all programmer art at the moment in terms of textures, this wooden pillar just isn't interesting enough as it is. So we're going to go ahead and delete everything off the top of this guy. And we are going to re-add it as block number two. And as block number two, we'll just go ahead and set it up as wood again, like so. Oh, I'm just editing one face. Got to edit all the faces there. There you go. Something like this again. And put it back to being wood. But this time, we want the faces to be horizontal rather than vertical. So that's what we'll do. And so now we've got a very, very basic wooden gateway. Um, you know, that's just not cool enough for me. So let's go ahead and add ourselves a little, ent a little s inside of the gateway. We're going to put in more materials like this. All right. So what are we going to make that out of? Well, how about mm, clouds? No. Uh, no. 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 I think these are okay. Yeah, we'll make it out of these stone bricks, which we will have colored a darker gray, something like this. Oh, darker than that. We want it to stand out from the wood. There we are. But there are some cool things we can do with this that we're not doing with it yet. For example, we can set this face up to be white or red. Let's go ahead and make it red because that's easy. And I'm going to make the other faces inside also red. So now when you look at it, you can see that the inside is red. But we can also go ahead and make those faces something else, like um, how about we can make them this thing. There you are. So now we have this red circle inside there. And isn't that kind of neat? But that's not neat enough, neat enough for me. I want to have a keyhole. So, let's build ourselves a little keyhole. As you may have noticed, the voxels are now square until they're made round, rather than round until they're made square. This allows me to put in a lot of different kinds of rounds, uh, of, of things that round, which is something I was limited to before, just different kinds of straightening stuff out. But uh, in this case, you can see that I've created a method of making grooves in verts, in uh, voxels, but I also have a way of pushing down and blending them, like so. So, not blending them, smoothing them. So, these are the two that I currently have uh, hotkeyed, and you can see that they allow us to create a much more organic shape. There are other materials I could use. Um, it turns out that if I pause this to change the materials, um, Fraps gets annoyed, so I'm not going to do that. But I did make a Tron material, which is emissive, which means that all these black lines glow very, very brightly, and that's really cool. And uh, the next step in this is to save and load these, and then you can combine them into in-game objects. So you might have this as one element of your in-game object, and then you might combine it with another voxel object that actually is made out of the emissive material, and maybe stick that in this keyhole here and shrink it until it fits. And you'll also be able to deform those objects using spine twists. So you'll have a great time being able to create really organic curves by, uh, by, by uh, twisting up all of these objects that you add and scaling them uh, and inflating and deflating them. And I know that I can do all of this because the only thing I wasn't sure how to do was, norm was a, uh, bump mapping because these require tangents and I didn't know how to calculate them. Fortunately, some guy named Newtons came to my rescue and he doesn't know he did, but I owe him a beer um, and uh, he allowed me to normal map all these with a tangents so that I can get good, um, good shading. 
All right. Well, I hope you've I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope you. I, dip, 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 dip. It's Friday, sorry. I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope you look, you're looking forward to the final product as much as I am. I'm really excited because I don't have any more technical issues. Everything else is just implementation, and uh, and that means I can get it done really fast. Mm, unfortunately, not today, tomorrow, maybe on Sunday I can get some of it done. So, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs>